Good morning guys, good afternoon, depending on where you're located, can you hear me? Unfortunately, we are having gap downs on these uh, Corona names, AHPI, APT, and, and Codex. Codex, I'm short since yesterday, but I would have preferred uh, you know, gap ups on all of these. AHPI and APT had some crazy bounces yesterday. APT more than doubled intraday. Maybe they will set up again later today. Hopefully they can go higher. Build some ranges. Codex is the only one I'm looking to short out of the gate. This is the only one that hasn't gone down yet. Like this thing is down what? 35, 37% from Friday highs. APT is down 60%. And that's in, you know that's like after yesterday's bounce. It was down like seventy percent. AHPI was down seventy five percent. Now it's only down sixty two percent. So why why can't this codex be down fifty sixty percent? I mean this thing could go to tens nines easily. And INO was a home run trade yesterday. I bought it late day, and uh, I, I was up. I was up like probably 350k on it in pre-market. Now, now I've sold some once it started breaking down this this 850 eight dollar area. But I had a hundred share, hundred thousand shares, and it's now I'm only down to twenty thousand. I held like sixty-two thousand shares overnight. Uh, it's just incredible. It went straight up from my entry. If I had known this would uh, would have happened, I would have bought two hundred thousand shares, three hundred thousand shares. <laughs> I I didn't I couldn't believe my eyes. It just went straight up. Crazy stock. And Tesla also like uh, this one too. I made like three hundred k on it yesterday, and now it's gapping up. I held uh, a bunch of shares overnight. And yeah, it went red. I, I, I said I, I wouldn't be surprised if it went red, and it did go red on the day. Just textbook setup. Just textbook setup. A bounce right into support, a big bounce into support, and then it fades on the third day. It, it can't become more textbook like that. I, I hope you all nailed this. This is like the most profitable day trading and swing trading setup there is. It, it, it's just, it's ultra profitable. It really is. Memorize this type of setup.
STMP. Nothing. I, 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 there is nothing here. Not for me. I, I don't see any edge here. Not, not upside, not the downside. There's literally 20 things that are better in this market right now. That's what I think about STMP. <coughs> Whoops. You can hear my system sounds, right? Like if I play a YouTube, you can hear it. I, I haven't figured out how to how to shut it shut it off. Yeah, okay. So you, you hear also the alert sounds from TC2000. That sucks. That must be super annoying. I know I know I'm super annoyed by them. Especially when like 10, 10, 10 of them trigger in a short amount of time. <sighs> yeah, I probably need to figure out how to shut it off. I just can't figure it out. Enable. Wait, wait. Enable. Enable game. Okay. Can you tell me if you can hear this YouTube video? Can, can you hear this? Can you hear the music? Ah, god damn it. It wasn't that setting. Hmm. Advanced. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. I, I figured it out. I figured it out. Can, can you tell me if you can hear this? Wait, wait, wait. You can't hear my source audio now, right? Okay, great. I figured it out. Because, uh, yeah, I had some gaming settings. Because if you stream a game, you're, you're still supposed to hear the game. Yeah, it's because I, uh, you can hear, only hear it from my, uh, from my microphone now. You don't hear the system sounds. Because I had some game setting on. If you, if you stream games, you're supposed to hear the game sounds. And I'm not... Uh, I'm not... Um, streaming any game so you're not uh, you don't have to hear my system sounds all right great 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 mm -hmm. okay uh so game plan is codex obviously i think this thing goes to sub 10 this week uh tqq obviously had a big pullback yesterday but this is a longer term hold for me dxm is a longer term hold tesla uh maybe opening range lows potentially uh, I'll probably not trade it. Probably not trade it. Uh, but if I see a good setup, I may do some small size. But not not as much size as I did yesterday. Like yesterday, I was short 5,300 shares at one point, I think. I think it was 5,300 shares. So, yeah, I'm not going to do any... Any size like that. On Tesla, uh, Zoom it just acts great. I and oh, I and O bounced. Damn, I sold most of my shares on this pullback. Okay, I only have twenty thousand shares left. It's an insane trade from yesterday. I had two three hundred thousand dollar trades yesterday. I can't fucking believe this market. It's it's incredible, unbelievable. AHPI, APT. If they can go higher, uh, otherwise I'll probably not touch it. Twix. I'm gonna look for opening range lows. Uh, in case the market starts stabilizing, there's going to be, uh, you know, that Twix will unwind. Twix will unwind big time. Twix will unwind.
Okay. Um, OPGN. I just, you know, I, I'm just talking. If you, oh, VTIQ is going higher. Okay. I'll win. Work NIO. NIO LK is still holding up. MRNA may be a long for later. Uh, yeah, I'm just talking a bunch of stuff. And no gappers I'm interested in. VIR had a uh, Corona PR and it's just fading the gap. I think, except for INO, the Momo is. Uh, I think the air is coming out of this. Uh, uh, corona thingy. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. Codex opening range lo highs uh, lows obviously. Sting has room like to ten bucks today potentially. Tesla is just fading out of, out of, yeah, I'm not gonna, nah, I don't see an edge here today. I still have 3,000 shares from yesterday's ads, but I'm just gonna keep them. Codex, the fields are super hard because of SSR. Codex, I got stopped out of the um, opening range lows ads. It's just holding up super well. It's fucking SSR. It's the dumbest thing ever invented. It literally is. Doesn't help anyone. Unbelievable stupidity. Let's see here. Twix is continually weak here. I shorted, you know, I'm, I'm short one, uh, sorry, 5,000 shares of this Twix. Maybe I'll do more later if it sets up well, but this is gonna be a swing position if it's, you know, if the market stabilizes, uh, this Twix will unwind. But obviously, if the market goes lower, it will go higher, but. 
it needs to set up for me to add more AHPR. Okay, let's see here. mRNA looks strong. Okay. Looks like my alerts are lagging again. Last week they were actually on time, but now this week it looks like they're lagging again. Tal is incredibly strong. Zizan? No, it's not a watch for me. Zizan is not a watch for me. BCRX taking out a... Range. Oh, Veer is look, look like it's uh, stronger intraday than it was pre-market, but there's no volume in it. Absolutely no volume. Oh, I know, man, it had to stop me out of most of my size. I, I got stopped out of 40,000 shares pre-market in the low mid eights. Oh, well, I can't complain. It's very strong. Yeah, yeah, I know was, I, I can't believe this thing from yesterday. Such a perfect breakout intraday. I should have bought 200,000 shares. Oh, my God. Why did, oh, sh oh my God. Oh, I can't believe it. it's just like this market. You can't lose in this market. You can have like five losing trades and then you have like three home runs. The past two weeks have just been incredible. Oh, Twix, I got stopped out. Oh, I didn't even have it in my position list. Yeah, okay, it bounced perfectly off this rising moving average. Okay, that explains it. Markets are fading. Tesla is fading. Yep. Tesla, well, I guess Tesla would have been a good short opening range low. So I just didn't uh, trust it. Hmm, DXCM, I'm going to start moving... I'm going to start raising stops on it. AIM just took out opening range highs. Looks interesting. Another one of these Corona stocks, I guess.
its work is set setting up really well. I like I like the whole group. Team Zoom work. Once the market starts settling in, it, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a big trade. Uh, da, 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 I know. mRNA potentially for later in the day if it sets up well, just like INO. That would be interesting. Do you? It's a Twitch of China, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 
Um, absolutely. I think uh, this is uh, one type of company that w um, is benefiting a lot from these uh, Corona. So, but, you know, the lockdown is over, you know, every, things are going back to normal. But I think next quarter will be uh, abnormally big for this the company when they report. But I don't know if it's sustainable or not, because things are getting back to no normal. But yeah, maybe. I don't know. Could be. LK is testing the breakout area again. QTT, weren't they supposed to report yesterday? It says 3rd of March here. Oh, here it says 17th of March. Okay, never mind. China looks strong today, overall. They're pumping incredible amounts of system into their, or uh, incredible amounts of money into the system. With the stimulus thing is, I think once this Corona stuff is over, I think China could be on a big run. K-Web will probably be my preferred trade. This thing has been building higher lows since August. And now too, like last week, it uh, bounced off this rising trend line. Okul? I don't know. It's just a random stock making a random up move. BCLI? Uh... I mean, look, it looks like it's about to break out of a little bit of a flag, but it's ultra thin. AR City, yeah. I passed on it. it. I looked at it like five minutes ago and the volume was really low. But yeah. The coronavirus PR. VIR is taking out highs of the day. On no volume. And AIM. Yeah, it took out the opening range highs at 220 and it went. The chart looks good. The volume is very good also. This thing could. Maybe go to four bucks or something. LK, okay, now it's starting to trigger my alerts here. <sighs> hmm. I think I may buy a piece of LK, like half size. I still don't trust the market, but it looks good. SDN I got stopped out of yesterday. The market was super, super choppy. Like Brazil overall, Brazil market had a big uh, pullback late in the day, and that pulled down SDN also. But it still looks good. It's still holding its range. Uh, guys, you can't hear my alerts now, right? You can only hear them from my mic, but not from the from the system sounds. Just to confirm one more time. 
Okay, great, 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 great. Codex, I'm gonna size down uh, a bunch of yesterday's ads if it takes out highs of the day. It's just holding too well. It's 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 a uh, it's SPC 2.0. It's doing the exact same thing. Every time it tested the low low of the range, it uh, it popped. Exact same play. Do you hold position? Yeah, all the time. I hold positions through earnings all the time. When I'm in the money. When I have nice profits in them, in it. And if I think the next report is going to be good. Uh, a pop, yeah. I don't know why it's popping, but it is a popping. Wow, INO, really? It's already traded 45 million shares? Like yesterday, when I bought the breakout late day, it had traded 45 million shares. And that was after five hours. That was five hours after the market opened, or four and a half. And it's already traded 45 million shares in the first 30 minutes. That can't be right. No way. Yes way. Holy shit. Wow. Beast. What? This thing will trade 150 million shares today. Maybe 200 million shares. At this rate. Incredible. Unbelievable. Okay, APT is starting to pop a little bit here. Would be nice if it goes to like 25 or so today. VIR, no volume on this thing. Mm -hmm. Tesla is near the lows again. I wouldn't be surprised if this Tesla uh, goes below 600 over the next few months. This is going to be a, uh, I'm short 3,000 shares. It's going to be a long term short for me. 806 is going to be my stop. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes lower. Codex uh, is retesting the VWAP. I have to believe it goes lower. It's it has been building lower highs on the five minute chart since yesterday, or on the in the past two days. APT flagging on the 30 minute chart. Yeah, well, 
you know, it's just in the middle of a range. <clears throat> Too bad I missed the, I didn't, you know, I, I passed on the bounce trade yesterday. HPI is bouncing also after the, the week open. I ah, yeah, know with this volume it could go to like 12 bucks today. Oh, I'm so annoyed it shook me out of 40k shares pre-market. A little bit frustrating. Guys, did any of you buy NI uh, INO yesterday? It was like a five star breakout late yesterday. Like at the time it broke out, the volume was about 45 million. So it had, the, the, the volume was already the highest it had ever been. And it built higher lows all day intraday on super, super volume. It was just so textbook. Please tell me someone got it. If no one, none of you caught it, you must all be asleep. Didn't see it. Yeah. Well, at least you had a at 5:30. Yeah. Okay. So at least you saw it. Okay. So everyone except one person was asleep. At what time? In well, you know, about the same pr time and price it broke out intraday. It's like the most textbook uh, breakout I, I, I ha I've seen in a while. You know, the right sector, big, big volume, and just a perfect flag pattern intraday. Like I, I, I got stopped out the first time around. I took like a thirteen thousand dollar loss on it, uh, on this weird red candle. So I, I, I had, I had like a five twenty average. I had about half size, and then it just shook me out, and I got stopped out low fives, and then I started building back. Five twenty and five thirty two, I think, were my entries. My only regret is I didn't buy 200,000 shares instead of 100,000 shares. And then it went just straight up. It, it, it's like the most textbook flag ever. Like higher lows intraday. At the range. It's, it's a hot sector. Like the hottest sector we've seen in probably a year plus. Record volume. Ultra liquid. Memorize this. Memorize, you know, trades like that, they don't grow in trees. Except for the past two weeks, they've literally been growing on trees, but generally you don't get them <laughs> too often.
I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. Guys, how are you not the monitoring this coronavirus stocks? It's the hottest sector. Only one person saw it. And that person didn't even buy it. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm going to teach you something. If, if, if you have a hot sector like this, you have to monitor. You have to create a watch list and monitor all of the stocks. Just scroll through them during the day. This is unacceptable, guys. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm super disappointed. Just scroll. Like, I have 40 coronavirus stocks in my in my in my uh, watch list and I just scroll through them like the li most liquid ones I sort them by dollar volume most of them are too illiquid for me to trade like every day like pre-market and during the day I, I, I scroll through this list like INO is obviously the most liquid one today Gilead this this is a slow moving one it's not a pump stock uh, like mRNA APT, Codex, AIM, Nenvax, all of these, just scroll through them, look for setups, look for news. Uh, OMI, they had their, oh, good thing I sold it yesterday. Whew, what a piece of shit. You know, ARCT, another one uh, that that's getting pumped today. You know, I, you know, guys, you have to do these things. You really have to, there's really no excuse. And if you think there's too many, just focus on the most liquid ones. Mar markets like these are when you, when you can make your whole year in a few weeks. Like a whole year happens in a few weeks. That's the market environment we are in right now. And you just have to th do this over and over and over again. I reshorted a few tweaks, like a third size. Or a quarter size, really. I was short le late yesterday. Um, okay. NIO is, looks like it's finally starting to break down. It, it, it's been holding up incredibly well. I, I can't believe it didn't break out earlier. Uh, but looks like it's retesting the rising 50 day now. It's been surfing the 50 day for a while. And now it's uh, trying to break below. It could be a short. It could be a short here. Oh, wait. Do they report? Wait, wait, wait. When do they report? It says March 03 here. Oh, here it says 12th of March. Okay. So the report next week. I'm probably going to be run over by this <laughs> Twix. LK, if it takes out highs of the day, I'm going to buy a, a third, maybe half size.
Codex is back near the lows of the day. Also, did, did, did anyone catch Tesla short yesterday? Like another, this is like a, there was a five star setup. I, I, I talked about it nonstop. Please tell me someone got it. It played out perfectly. Okay, good, good. It was a five star setup. You had a three day bounce into resistance and then, the th and then, a, then a fade on the third day. Oh, you did? Okay, great. Okay, good, good, good. At least I'm happy some of you got this Tesla. Like, okay, guys, <laughs> these are like five-star opportunities. I can't believe people are not trading these things. Except for a few. Why is two stocks your maximum? To avoid overtrading or, or why? <clears throat> Focus, okay, yeah, okay, sure, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> problem is I get really tired and I, I want to go, uh, you know, go away from the computer. That's why I don't stream the whole day. And I don't really like talking. I hate talking. Some people love their own voice. They, they just can't get enough of talking. I just want to do something else. I want to go play with my cat, take a shower, take a, take a walk, go to the store or something, you know, buy some food or whatever. No, I know I don't have to talk all the time. I know, I know. This Twix, uh, if it starts building more, uh, lower highs and takes out some ranges later in the day, I will add to my short. I have uh, about a quarter size so far. Uh, if markets start to stabilize, we don't even have to go much higher. But if the, just the fear starts coming out of the markets, this Twix will unwind to 70, 60. over the next week or two. Uh, so, and I really want to be there with size. Uh, but obviously, you know, if we go lower, these tweaks could go to 150, 200. So that's why I'm doing small pieces at a time. And maybe I'll do a, do a bit more later in the day. But as it starts, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to build a position over several days for the big fade. <clears throat> that may come soon. I don't usually do it. I'm not really active on Twitter. But almost all the A plus setups, I talk about them uh, uh, on the stream. Like Codex is an A plus setup right now. 
I think this thing goes back to ten bucks, if not today. Not if not today, then by like Friday. I really do. It's just been building lower highs now since you know over the past two days. Um, and the only reason it's not already lower today is because of SSR. Uh, but obviously, many of you may have a hard time borrowing it. Uh, guys, how many of you have um, can are able to uh, get locates on Codex? Can any of you get locates on this thing? It's kind of hard to borrow. None, yeah, exactly. It's hard to borrow. So I, I guess most of you can trade it. Yeah. But those of you who can, you know, th this is a very good risk reward setup. Both brokers. You you're using uh, Centerpoint and uh, what's the other one? IB. Oh, it's locatable in uh, IB. Okay. 0 0.37 and 0 0.42. How much did I pay? I paid 0 0.48. Why, why are you get Oh, Trade Zero and Cobra. Okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, exactly. Those are the ones. Cobra. Cobra and Trade Zero. Yeah, you have a bit uh, cheaper borrows than I have. Man, I need to get one of those. Which one... Uh, w wait, none of those are overseas, right? Trade Zero and Cobra. They're both US-based. I need to... I need to get... Um, an account at one of those, I think. Trade zero is overseas. Okay, okay. Trade zero and Cobra. You know, just like a backup. Uh, Cobra, was it Cobra Trading? Yeah, Cobra Trading, exactly. Okay. Trade zero. I need. I need to open up one more. One more uh, broker. Yeah, early? Okay. Oh, you're trading a trade zero? Okay. And zero, uh, uh, 700, I guess you mean uh, US, US time, right? Not Swedish time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get one of those. Especially now that my accounts have grown significantly the past two weeks. I I can I don't even have to, you know, reduce my accounts much to open up another just to have some kind of a backup. Yes, yes you can. Yes you can. And not that all of them Not at all of them, I think. I've had accounts at Center Point for many years. And that's a very good trading broker. I don't know about the big ones like E Trade, Ameritrade, Schwab, like those ones. I don't know about those. Alibaba is shaping up here. I'm telling you, these China names are looking good. TAL, look at how nicely it's flagging. No, sorry, not TAL, EDU. But TAL is strong too. Try to break out today. These things don't care about any coronavirus stuff. <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah, yeah, oh wow. It had a shakeout candle yesterday and now it's hitting new highs. Yeah, just yeah, China is strong. A lot of China names are strong. Beely or IQ looks decent. This Beely looks good. Wow, it looks really good. A lot of China names are setting up nicely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the remote education and uh, all this streaming and internet related. Uh, stocks really good that's the best thing that could have happened to them oh really why did you switch away from center point 
Uh, or what made you switch from Centerpoint to Cobra to become one of their first customers? Much cheaper? Oh, okay. H how much cheaper? Like, you mean no borrow fees? Really? Huh. You know what? I'm going to go for Cobra. No three time. Okay, that's amazing. That is amazing. That is truly amazing. Trade zero seven time. Holy. First night. AXSM is setting up really well. They have everything, yeah. The problem with those brokers, I, I don't think they have the locates. I, I think they're naked. I think you're naked shorting it. Because no one has any everything. So I'm too afraid to open up like a trade zero and put any significant money in it. Because all of those overseas brokers, they're kind of a little bit sketchy. Uh, but Cobra, I will open an account with. Yeah, exactly. Trade zero is for the guys that are below the pattern day trader rule. I, I was with Sure Trader many years back because I, I had no choice until I got my accounts to like 40, 50k, then I sw switched to uh, a center point. You got fucked in an overseas broker? Which one and how? Lewis firm. Lewis? No. no, no not talk about that firm. SCC. Oh, scam. Oh, wow. That sucks. Oh, Nonco Trading? I heard about that one. I, they had a genius business model. If I remember correctly. They didn't really execute the trades. And they were betting that most of their customers would lose money. So instead of letting them lose the money, they just picked the money for themselves. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually genius. Illegal, but genius. Because they are right. Most people lose, you know, most of these aspiring traders lose most of their money. That's, that's a fact. So it was a genius tra uh, business idea. Unethical and un illegal, but genius. I have uh, I have interactive brokers. It's my smallest account. I usually do like, you know, st stuff I want to hold it for longer term. Wow, EHTH, that's a big move. Oh cool. Wow, oh cool. 
keeps going higher. I know someone mentioned this Okul uh, earlier. <clears throat> Damn, Twix is putting in a big fade. I only have tiny size on it. K-Web is trying to break out again. Um, damn, it looks good. Maybe later this week or next week. Work. What's LK doing? Wait, LK is not in my list anymore? What the hell happened to it? Sometimes I, f I, I, I remove, by mistake, I remove some stocks from a watch list. I don't know how I do it. It's mysterious. Mysterious events. Envax. <clears throat> yeah, it bounced off the rising 10 day after their offering. I can't believe I, how badly I fucked this thing up. I got shaken out. This low was 875. I got shaken out at 878. I didn't have big size, but still. It, it went up 8 bucks from where I sold it. 8.5 bucks. I could have made over 100k on it. <sighs> wow, Codex, there you go. There's your five-star trade, and I did. I, I don't have full size, unfortunately. It's been very shoppy for me. It's. I I didn't get the fills I wanted where I wanted them. I have about two-thirds size. That's okay. That is okay. Actually, gonna use high so and now it's gonna go to ten bucks. <laughs> Watch it go to ten bucks. I'm thinking about sizing down a little bit on Tesla, to be honest. I'm gonna put a stop here at high so the day. If it takes out high high so the day, I'm gonna cover some of, some more of yesterday's. Because so I'm short three thousand shares, and I just not really comfortable with it to be honest 766 I'll cover like a third or half I actually covered some here uh, let's see here is the streaming on what do you mean is the streaming on he was never off. Oh, okay. You had some issues, okay. I'm I'm stalking this K web for a longer term entry. I'll buy twenty, thirty thousand shares if this thing uh, sets up well. It could it could be doing something like uh, similar to twenty seventeen. I I think it could go up for months and quarters, make a big move. Like if I really think so. I want to be there. But it's not really ready yet. But it is setting up. 
This Peely looks great also. LK looks great. I mean, there's so many good looking shine. This IQ had very mediocre earnings. But it looks decent also. Not as good as Peely and LK. Oh, I know had a big fade. I'm going to use low so the day as my stop. Uh, 796, yes, 796. Do, do, do. I'm going to put us... Th this was... I, I can't believe. Like yesterday was just... I, I, uh, I can't believe this market. Out of the past eight trading sessions, I've been profitable seven. And those seven were all like 250,000 plus dollar days. I, I, I've never experienced something like this before. I used to be happy to make like 250k in a month. And now I've been making that and more seven out of the past eight sessions. Unbelievable. This market is... I can't believe it. It's not going to last. And I'm going to have some serious withdrawals once once this uh, ends. And it will end. Trust me. The good times will end. No, I don't use trade ideas. There's no point. I get all of my scans from TC2000. And I get my news from Twitter. And m my trading ideas, etc., etc. Yeah, AIM is going. AIM is going. Did it ha did it have any news today? Do this. Yes, yes, they do. You have this little button here. You can do a streaming scan or you can refresh manually. Like I refresh manually since I, I have all the scans in different tabs. So every time I switch tab, they, they refresh by themselves. Uh, but you can also have a streaming scan, then it will uh, be real time. I, I recommend TC2000 to everyone. It's by far the best uh, sharding and scanning software in my opinion. Uh, sharding, scanning, and watch list management, and note notes and etc. Like I take a lot of notes. It, it's by far the best. It's not even close. Only thing I'm annoyed by is the alert lag, like in the first five ten minutes, uh, out of the gate. Not every every day, but some days. And also that you can only go back fifteen hundred bars. Which is also annoying. You know, there's no reason why you can't go by back five or ten thousand bars. But you know, it is what it is. Other than that, it's it's pretty much perfect. And if they raise the price three hundred percent, I would still, I, I would I would pay it. I wouldn't even blink. VTIQ looks good. Uh, volume uh, profile. Uh, wh what do you mean by volume profile? Volume profile. I don't know what it means. Horizontal. Like I, 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 I really haven't. I, I don't understand those horizontal volume bars. I, I really don't get it. What, what? What does it like? How does that help you? Volume traded per price. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, they don't have that. I've seen uh, shorts like that. I, I see some people post shorts like that. I really never understood why. Or like I, I get it, but I don't really understand how it gives you an edge. That's what I don't understand. Or maybe it's something you have to get used to. Oh, they do? Okay. Sometimes it feels like a sheet code. It does? Okay. Okay, LK is... Uh Volume to pick your trades at the end of low traded volume rather than pieing in the middle of the mess. But how how does that help you? L like let's look at the I know chart. Like you, you can see where the volume is. How does horizontal volume help you? Like I can see where the volume is starting to come in on this chart. Like I can see the low volume zones and the high volume zones. How does a horizontal chart help me? I still don't get it. Twice SFA. Yeah, but is he making any money? Or you see one of these uh, paper traders. Th what? Th -wes -is? No, wait, what? A trader of stocks. Okay. Private and busy trading. Uh, uh, tweets from. Okay. I still don't get it. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. Like, I understand what it is, but I don't understand how, to, how it will help me in my training. I, I just don't get it. Sometimes getting an edge is having fewer things on your charts. I, st I, I stick to like pre basic price and volume and obviously moving averages uh, and VWAP. If I would have horizontal charts to uh, price too, it would look like Star Wars. Yeah, and that's also why I don't do options. Like, one, I don't understand them. I don't pretend I understand them. And 
I, I, I think I'm having, you know, enough success just doing, you know, just basic price action, trading off of basic, basic price and volume action. And obviously identifying psy investor psychology, you know, being able to identify these theme stocks before they, before they, their big moves like APT and Codex. And also these turning points on these things. Uh, and, you know, I, I just try to keep it very basic. I really don't want to add anything more. If, if anything, I want to remove stuff. But uh, I don't think I will be able to. I'm so used to uh, v using VWAP and moving averages. I, I, I don't think I will ever be able to move, remove those. <clears throat> Etsy looks good. It's just starting to come out of a long range. Let's do some backwatch list cleaning. Uh, let's see, it's 4th of March today, uh, 5th of February. Uh, wait, did I do my scans, by the way? I'll, I'll do my scans first. I think I did. Net looks great. This Cloudflare. Hopefully it can go sideways for a few more days. It probably won't be able to, but it looks so super explosive. Vir yeah, Virt is going higher because of the market volatility. They, they probably make more money. And the markets are volatile. Okay, let's see, 5th of February, what happened there? It was an oil day, it looks like. Yeah, a lot of oil, this MYO. Had a big fate that day, ERX, BTU, yeah, oil and commodity kind of a day. Saddle genetics tried to break out. The saddle genetics looks really good. LK. Oh, that's the day. Uh, wait, wait. LK. 5th of February. Oh, that's the day where I missed the $50,000 short on it. Oh, I remember how frustrated I was. I missed my, I missed my entry. By like what 30 seconds I was looking at some other shit and I missed it oh I still remember the pain I felt uh, MNTA what's this GSX GSX is an incredible stock also I think a China remote education uh, time type of a stock looks great Let's see, February 6th. Mm -hmm. Twitter reported that day. NVTA. Oh, NVT had a breakout that day. Single. Mm -hmm. All right. Fuel. Oh, that's the day I bought fuel cell. No, it wasn't. No, never mind. I bought fuel cell a few days later. 
Uh, let's see, February 6th, February 7th. Uh, what's going on here? Two alerts. LK, yeah, okay. LK, I mean, uh, 10,000 shares. It's like, uh, I don't know, half, maybe third size. Um, let's see how it starts acting here. Oh shit, I fat fingered. Uh okay. Never mind. I was gonna buy put a buy stop a bit higher, but now I apparently have twenty thousand shares of this thing. <laughs> That's okay. Thirty-nine fifteen, let's see here. Um ARCT stairs up, elevator down. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. VWAP volume price and tin EMA. A lot of you are using VWAP. Oh, you'd use FIB levels? Okay. Replaced all that with 20 EMA. Yeah. VIR looks like it's about to take out highs. I hope this thing goes back to 60, 70 bucks and hopefully gets more volume. Oh, it's already almost the same volume it had yesterday and the day before. So it's probably gonna get like maybe a million and a half, two million volume today. AIM, great job. Holy, nice, nice. Really good job. Yeah, the 220 opening range highs. That, that was... Uh, that was uh, one hell of a trade so far. And I think this thing could go to four bucks. Why can't it go to like four bucks? Just trail your stop. Uh, let's see, 7th of February. Let's take Pinterest reported. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll do 10th of February some other time. Congrats on your AIM trade. Okay, so I'm long this thing. LK. The way I look at the LK trade here is I'm risking like a dollar thirty to potentially make ten, twenty dollars. Ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. Why can't this thing go to 50, 60 bucks or something like that? It's one of the most explosive stocks in the market right now. It's been, sh it, it, it's, it's one of the biggest momentum stocks over the past four months. Or, or at least among the like, if you exclude the micro and small cap names. It's been showing extreme relative strength it's a five star setup that's the only you know i i just really not much else to say here but obviously the market crap you know tanks from here the trade is not gonna work but as long as the market doesn't go down i think that thing will will work well uh nio is starting to break down i think it could could be as could swing short here not my type of a setup, but uh, this thing uh, could very easily fade back to sub three, and you know <clears throat> they have a lot of problems. This company, big big debt problem, big big cash burn.
Yep, LK is going. I, I have. <laughs> I'm glad I fat fingered uh, another ten thousand shares, like fifty cents lower. And I may add more. I may add even more. Twitter alert didn't work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I forgot to set... Oh, I didn't... Oh. I forgot to uh, send out the invite on Twitter. That's... That's why I. That's why there were so few people on my stream. Because usually, the amount of viewers goes up to like 20, 25 pretty fast, like in like five, 10 minutes. And I was at like 10, 15 viewers after like 10 minutes. I'm like, why are there so few people in? I forgot to send out. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I fucked up. That explains it. Like, I have 25 viewers right now. I usually have, like, 35, 40 over the past week. Yeah, that explains a lot. Well, it's not unknown. It, they, they, haven't, it, they just haven't confirmed the date yet. Uh, but they, uh, let's see, briefing says 11th of March. Uh, Market Smith doesn't know, and Finvis. Uh, uh, what is this day? 11th of March. Look, there's always a risk. Like, they could. Obviously, they could, you know, put out an, uh, a 10K or whatever it's called at any time, and it's, you know, uh, it could be really bad. And the stock will gap down 20%. You, have all, you always have that risk with any stock. That's, what, th that's why you never go all in on one stock. That's why you have a portfolio. You always have that risk overnight, no matter what. But the you know the earnings uh, is probably gonna be eleventh of March. Uh, but guys, don't you get an alert when I start streaming? Don't you get an alert? Because I think it's better if you get an alert when I actually start streaming instead of relying on me uh, tweeting it. Sometimes on the app. Alert on the phone. Like, like you should get maybe like an email notification or a push notification on your phone or, or whatever. I think it's better because this, is, this was probably the first time I forgot tweeting the stream start. The first time in six months, but it, it, it's going to happen again. But, you know, obviously, uh, obviously I stream every day, so you can just join any time. <laughs> Dota or CS streams, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's kind of fun. I haven't played Counter Strike in a while, or or not at least actively. I used to play 1.6 and Counter Strike Source a lot back in the day. And Dota, I pretty much, I I don't think I've ever played it. And uh, 
up until like a few months ago, I used to watch uh, a lot of World of Warcraft streams because I was playing World of Warcraft, but I haven't played since I think early December. I just got burned out. I played a lot of World of Warcraft from early September to early December. I played a lot of World of Warcraft. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not a healthy lifestyle, I can tell you that. Now this Twix is um, building some lower highs intraday. Obviously that can change at any time. Um, but yeah, I'm actively looking for more ad spots. Maybe if later in the day or something. We'll see. Tesla. Hmm. Interesting. Tesla is actually actually showing a relative weakness compared to the market. Because the markets are holding uh, holding steady since the open. But Tesla is down down quite a bit since the open. Damn, I shouldn't have, I, I actually covered like five hundred shares in the seven fifties. Like high seven fifties, just because I got a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I didn't want this thing to go back to 806 and stop me out of my 3000 shares. But there is one level, there is a big level here, 738, 737, this level here. I don't want it to break today, I hope it breaks tomorrow or, or, or on Friday. But there's a big level and it takes out that level, this thing goes to sub 700. Uh, but I hope it doesn't take out today. Like if it breaks that level tomorrow, I'll, I'll short a couple of dozen shares. Right there, I'll put an alert. So that's something to keep an eye on. It is built, it does have a level there. Oh, I know I got stopped out of my, my last shares. What a beast of a trade. I can't believe it. How much did it go up? It went up 77%. Wow. I, I think I made, I, I must have, I, I don't know exactly how much I made on it, but definitely at least 250. I think I made about 300K on it. Um, just, like, I can't believe this market. It's so aggressive. It's so aggressive in a good way. In a very good way. How do I, I do uh, in TC2000? If I click here, right, like 530, for example, and then I just hold the left mouse button, you see this line, you see the data bar on the left side, you see that green number. Now it's now it shows 77.48 percent. That's how I calculate it. I don't do it in my head. Trust me. <laughs> I don't do it in my head. It says 4.11 dollars and 77.48 percent. Yeah, that's how I do it. I I wish I was able to do it in my head that fast. I, I'm I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> uh, Tesla is uh, the level is 737. I mean, look, if it breaks later today, I'll do I'll do like a thousand fifteen hundred shares. I'm not gonna go crazy on it. But if it breaks like tomorrow, I'm gonna do much more than that. Yeah, 737. I think that's a, that's a big level. Hopefully, it can go. So again, I I don't I really don't want it to break today. I really hope it doesn't break today. Uh, APT. Okay, I know I am. Out. Can't believe these stocks. Like Tesla and the INO yesterday. I, it's just the opportunity in this market. 
this is not a normal market scenario or nor normal market conditions. Last time I saw something like this, a sector going this crazy was the uh, no, sorry, the Mariana stocks in uh, uh, August and September 2018. Yeah, August and September. You had this Tilray went from like 30 to 300. You had Enbev went from 2 to 10. There were, you know, like a lot of them. CGC, Cron uh acb uh and uh they were like yeah a few others and before that it was the crypto stocks of um uh, uh when was that like late 17 early 2018 so you, you about once per year you get a theme like this And right now we're in the middle of it. I don't know how much more longer it, these Corona stocks are gonna last, but so far they've been incredibly, incredibly nice to me, both on the long and the short side. Uh, my stop and fix is uh, highs of the day, as you can see here on the chart. One seventeen thirty three. Yeah, it's just going in a, in a range. I don't really worry about it. I have a small starter. I think the trade will be... I think if I'm going to add today, it's going to be later in the day. Like if the market holds up well, this thing could you know, put in a big unwind. And again, I'm, I'm looking to build a position over several days. And if it takes out the highs of the day and stops me out, that's fine. The higher it goes, the better. Um, this thing is programmed to go to towards zero. If, you, if I scroll back a few years, let's look at the weekly chart. This this thing was at 10 million or, or 9 million back in 2013. And then they've had a lot of reverse splits on the way because it's programmed to go towards zero. And w once the, um, I don't know the, the terminology, like contango or whatever it's called, once it uh, rever uh, like inverts, uh, it's it's um, this thing will go down a lot. <clears throat> That's just how these triple ETFs are programmed. You have to understand how they work. And, and they obviously they can go up um, a lot when fear sets in. And I made a decent amount of money on it on the long side. But, but as long as we don't have any fear, this thing will start going down. And we, it will be going down violently. Okay, last scan. I have to say this Gilead is looking a bit intriguing. It's a it's almost a mega cap stock, but it moves it moves like a it moves like a small cap stock lately. Uh Hopefully it doesn't do it today, but tomorrow above yesterday, uh, today's highs, or this, you know, the, as you can see, it has peaked at the 75.50 area for three days, here, here, and here. If it takes out that area tomorrow, it could go. It's not a fast-moving stock. You can't expect this thing to go up more than 10, 15%, but you can do unlimited size. It's ultra-liquid. It could be a scenario where you can risk 50 cents to make $10 or something or five. So it's something I'm going to I'm going to keep on watch. And it is one of these Corona stocks. They're working on some kind of a vaccine for it. Um, and uh, someone said they only they have the only potentially working vaccine. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
WHO says the company's Remdesivir is the only drug with real efficacy against coronavirus. So they may, may be the only one that have a working uh, vaccine or drug against it. So they may be the only one who make who will make money on it. But obviously it's almost a mega cap stock, 95 billion in market cap. So understand it's probably not going to make a super big move. It's more of a risk reward trade. Yeah, the problem with these uh, volatility products is they are programmed to go down, but sometimes, you know, when market volatility comes and when you get sudden market volatility, these, these things like, you know, Twix, VXX uh, and UVXY, which are all derivatives of this VIX uh, fear index or whatever it's called, these things can go up. 50, 100, 150% in a matter of days. Like back in early 2018, one of these ETFs actually broke uh, and it got halted and delisted. Um, but like Twix, look at Twix. This thing went up 177% in like a week. So that's the risk with these things. But yeah, if you can get a cheap borrow, they are good long uh, short uh, sorry long term shorts. But understand the risk. Yeah, SVXY. This one broke. Yeah, exactly. Look at the move this SVX SVXY did in 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 three sessions. It went down 90%. And its sister ETF, XIV, I think it was XIV. Yeah, XIV, they actually stopped trading that one. Um, because the company that owns these things, uh, they can, I think if they go down more than 75% in one day, they can choose to stop trading in it. To protect themselves. Yeah, exactly. Here it is. If they go down more than 80% in one day, they get liquidated. So these things are... They are not stocks and they are not regular ETFs. So understand what you're trading. Understand the risks and how they work. All right, that's it. You know my my trading plan for the rest of the day. And uh, wait, what do you take? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I bought twenty thousand shares, and I'm willing to add more. 
but I'm not entirely certain about the market. I think we're gonna get a lot of whips, so but it, it's just holding really well. Uh, okay, uh, thanks for joining today, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Good luck trading rest of the day.